All right, what's going on, man? Oh my God, just look on the, don't mind the dirtiness, but look how dark my car, the camera not picking it up, but in real life, bro, my car is dark as hell. Like, look at that. Well, obviously, oh, never mind. We got the sun visor on, you know, but can't see nothing. Anyways, man, welcome back, man. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna be like a, second part of the first video or just its own video but we installing the seats today you can see the bumper on the ground the seats right here i'm getting a headache just from thinking about this install because um i seen a youtube video of bro that did the opposite of me though he did his si seats obviously I don't have the si of my seats i'm glad i'm replacing these because i didn't even notice this damn look at this bro I need to get the center console and this. Um, I did find the SI that's like parted out. And like, I do want some SI accessories in here, like the center console and the door panel things. Because like, it, I think they're, I think they're leather. I can't tell by the pictures, man. Like the pictures is weird, but yeah. These seats though, I don't even like them for real. I mean, yeah, they're leather and they're heated seats, which I'm going to miss, but at the same time, I ain't gonna say too much right now, but soon I'm not gonna want heated seats. So I don't care. But yeah, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna stop talking and um experiment. And by experiment, I mean I'm gonna take out the passenger seat with uh because I bro, I don't know what the tool is to take this out. Like the drill bit I need is it, weird, bro. I don't I don't even know. I got the 14 millimeter right here, got my little socket. Shits. Damn. Oh shit, I'm dumb. That's for the drill bit. Not my uh stuff I'm supposed to be using. But yeah, this is 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. I couldn't count for a minute. I thought that motherfucker skipped or something. But yeah, so um let me show y'all. So first thing first. I gotta take this out. Oh yeah, and I found my Apple Watch too. After forever, it was my lotion bag. Don't, for you asking what a lotion bag is, right now, my lotion, <laughs> I buy in bulk because they usually sell out a lot. So I had it a whole bag for like five of them. Hold up, all right, I showed y'all it. It's, it's a little sticky. I don't know why my shit is sticky, but I low-key don't want to break it. This motherfucker do feel flimsy, but yeah. This is, this is working. I don't know how. Oh my God. Come here, boy. Okay. Oh shit. Moment of truth. Look at that. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, let's, um, oh shit. Okay. Okay. Yes, I see, okay, I see where I'm, okay, I'm supposed to disconnect. Oh shit. I should have paid more attention to that goddamn video to figure out how to, hell I disconnect this shit. I forgot that when my camera dies, bro, my mic, oh uh, no i forgot that i turned off my mic and stuff so this whole time i just been talking y'all couldn't hear me yeah i just had to take out my seat belt um i'm gonna have to probably make a hole in the passenger seat of those new seats in case that don't, it don't come with this but yeah so but it looks weird as hell and look like i was saying i'm, I'm gonna clean out uh, all this i ain't got an on-the-go vacuum so i am kind of mad that i can't really get in the dirt and grime corners of the new car of the new seats, but I'm just gonna try my best to clean them. I'm gonna pause the video whenever I'm uh, cleaning. But yeah, so, um, so I got a bucket, so I just threw all the trash in there. But as you can tell, it still, you know, need some vacuuming and stuff. So I think for right now, what I'm, I don't know what to do though, because my driver's seat and I'm gonna pour the vacuum and I wanna get this done now. So I think I might run to the car wash, vacuum the passenger side and just leave the driver's side and then get a detailer because I'm gonna get my car detailed. Obviously these seats has been sitting in here. So I wanna get it detailed 
so i don't know maybe i'm just probably gonna finish this project up get a detailer to do everything for me like but i don't know i don't know if they get under the seats good i don't know but you know what man eh. fuck it i'm just gonna put the seats in i'm just gonna put the seats in real quick you know get all the uh everything get get everything good with the tools and then i'll see but for right now I'm gonna get everything good with the tools real quick. So let's get that started. Okay, so some dumb person, not gonna say who, um, did some miscalculations because the reference I went off of was the OEM car for this. But these seats right there, hold up. My seats right here could go into the EP3 SI easily. But the EP3 SI seats don't go into my car easily. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So, when you, uh, you probably can't see for real, but the bolts right here barely match up, which I could, uh, I have the tool for that. Like, obviously, I have the tool for not matching up. But, um, that bolt over there could match up, right? I could put that in there, but this one don't match up. So I might put that bolt in there, you know, to have a stable-ish, which would have been fine, you know. You know, having that bolt in there would be fine. But what, where the problem lays is right fucking here. I don't have nothing for this to latch on to. I mean, I could hammer this down and, you know, put, the, uh, put another new bolt in there, but I don't know what the hell is under there. I'm hoping it's nothing major. I could do that. But for over here, the hole is down here somewhere. So I don't know, bro. Hold up. I'm going to go to that side real quick and try to line it up. But I might have to take the railing off my other seats and put them on here if that's plausible. I don't know if that's plausible. I didn't, you know, I wasn't fucking considering that. Because, I mean, they said, I think they said you could, but it's like, a pain in the ass. So I was like, okay, cool. It don't matter. I'm just going to do it the way he did it, which it's not a good damn plan. Yeah. Yeah, this shit don't match up. So I'm probably going to put a hole right here. Right. Put a hole in the front. Hopefully. Yeah, the holes going to be right next to each other because in his video, they were right next to each other. It's just this one. It's just this bitch right here. I might walk I might have to drive around until I can uh you know do something about it, but I might be driving around with one bolt missing. That's probably not the smartest thing to do, but that's all we can do. So um the hole for that is down there somewhere. So yeah. Now I have to uh go back up to the front and see where I'm gonna put the hole for the other bolt that doesn't match up. Cause um yeah, so I think I'm finna I'm finna bolt in um I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea. Actually, it is. It's, it's, a, it's a great idea, Jeremiah. Come on. Think think about it. So let me, sh let me show you the vision I'm talking about right now. Hold up. These seats are definitely like bucket seats. Like OEM bucket seats. My seats were definitely comfortable. <laughs> comfortable. Comfortably more comfortable than these. But yeah, so. A few moments later. All right. I ain't really got time for all that mic stuff, but... I end up grabbing the wrong one. I grabbed the, uh, I grabbed the uh, rivet nut set from Harbor Freight, and it only goes up to M8, and I need M10. So, because the video that I watched about, bro, like I just, I, I just seen like the tools and stuff, and I looked up near me because I'm an impatient person. But now I'm just got to order it off Amazon because he already had, he already had all the tools and stuff listed in his description. So I'm just gonna have to go on Amazon and um. Just buy the exact same stuff. Eventually. <laughs> so I'm locked out my car in front of Harbor Freight. God damn it. So first thing first, I got my fucking drill bit stuck. And then I made the holes, but they're not big enough for the riv nut, uh, the M10 to go in there. Like this one. I don't even know if you can really see it because all the uh, metal and shit, but that's a little tiny hole right there. That one a little tiny one. And then, hold on, let me. And then this one I'm low-key a little proud of. Cause I did a I did a decent job with this one. 
uh, you really can't probably can't even see it for real, but there's a whole my things that connect my seat like to the bolt. I don't know the name of these shits. I need to find a name so I can look up a good ass video. But you see like this, we got these two, same over here, two and one. So, so I've seen a video of bro saying, basically you just drilling this shit and cut it to the side. I am a dumbass, bro. You gonna have to break shit down good as hell. I'm not gonna know what the fuck you talking about. So like, drill a hole in it cut it to the side what the fuck do you mean cut it to the side like i think i know what he mean by cut it to the side but like i don't know i don't know if that's gonna work and i tried to drill this shit with the goddamn drill bit that's already stuck but the shit ain't work so new plan is mm, take these bitches off on both seats on so i'm gonna do it for four goddamn seats bro um, I'm finna have to find a way to take these bitches off. I'm finna find the name of these hoes so I can really, you know, understand and get a fucking tool for this shit. Cause I feel like this shit could easily just come off. I don't know. So I'm finna take these bitches off and only take these. The railing's still gonna be intact, but these bitches gonna go on the new seats. So it just easily bolts in. I ain't gotta worry about no fucking headache with this drilling shit. So I basically bought all these tools for nothing if I eventually if I do do this shit. Which I mean not for nothing because at the end of the day. If I'm gonna be working on car, if I'm gonna be working on my car and shit, it's good to have all varieties of tools. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I really wanna use that rev nut gun though. Cause I bought that shit off Amazon for no damn reason at that point then. But I thought they go sit in my backseat <laughs> and look up a goddamn video or a goddamn tool to get this shit off. Because like I'm looking at it, I'm like, yeah, if I just get this bitch, I can pop it off. Get those off those ones and just replace them bitches like that. Like that's simple. So I'm trying to I'm trying to figure the fuck out how the hell I'm gonna do this shit. <sighs> I'm gonna be back, man. I don't know. But yeah, we finna we finna uh we finna cook with this shit, I guess. Two thousand years later. Yo. Yo, alright, what's good, man? I ain't gonna lie, bro. We've been at this goddamn seat for days now, man. So it is currently like 8.20 at night. And first I drilled into the bolt stuff, you feel me? And then I bought a hacksaw. A little cheap hacksaw at Lowe's, like a manual one, did not work. So, and I also lost my mic. So, damn, this bitch heavy as fuck. But yeah, we got the angle grinder now, man. I don't know how to use one. It say a 90 degree angle. I cheated my way through school, especially math. I don't know degrees. Make sure you got your safety on all the goddamn time, man. Cause I was finna, I was just finna say fuck it, do the safety squints. But with my bad luck, safety squints ain't gonna ain't gonna save me. But yeah. We're gonna, uh, I'm just gonna do this for tonight. See if I can do it, get anything done with this, or learn to do shit. something and it was not the goddamn boat a spark just flew and hit my fucking lip oh my fucking god that shit hurt it didn't hurt. That shit stung. I ain't want to show y'all because I ain't want my seats to fall in these metal chips and shit. But that seat is better because it's like a it's like a small little like baby bolt. Mine were so big and chunky, and the other stuff was blocking it. But those seats, it don't block. It's like it's like a little P shaped bolt. So honestly, I could probably use the grinder tomorrow just grind that right off and it's out and then just get a new bolt and bolt that in so yeah um i'm done for the night i just i just had to get um that one off because you know what they say there's nobody that wanted more than me today than me tomorrow bro 
Because me tomorrow, I'm on that shit. Right after work, I get off at 5.30. I'm on this. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to end it off. Not the video, but the day. I'm going to end it off right here. It's, um, I started this at like 8 some. It's currently 10.26. It's been like two hours. So, yeah. I think, I think that's how the court go. <laughs> There's nobody that wanted more than me today than me tomorrow. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. Love y'all. See y'all tomorrow after work, bro. We finally fucking did it, man. <laughs> Whew. The next day. Yo, what's good, man? So, it's currently the the next day. Just got off work. Um, but, yeah, I don't want to hold this thing no wrong way because I got a metal splinter from this last time. But, uh, 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 ah, fuck. A little... You know, recap of last night. Got this thing off. Now, what I'm finna do is, I'm finna take this seat out and uh, connect the uh, that little boat rail thing. I mean, that little rail thing bolts it in to the to that seat. I gotta take out the other boat of that of the uh, new seat, but it ain't gonna be that hard because the, these boats are like real P shape, so it's gonna be easy as hell to you know just get that off. So yeah, you can see, I like these boats too. I ain't gonna lie, I like these boats, even though I won't even see them. Whenever the seats are in, but yeah, it's whatever. Shit, I don't wanna need another splinter. So as y'all can see, I made a little tiny hole. It's almost the same size. I just need to make it a tad bit bigger. Had to use that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm low key learning. Hold up. I'm, I'm low key learning how to use tools like Probably not the right way, but I'm learning them my way. Cause you know, like with a drill, I mean, I can, you know, I can, I can make a bookshelf. Like I know how to use a tool, but like when it comes to like really doing this stuff, like, like from scratch, like you having to do it and think about it. Like drills, like I understand now, like you gotta go see, like I start off big with it, you know, to make a little divot. But then it stopped working. So then I switch over to the smallest one, puncture it. Then, you know, up, up, up until it, you know, finally get to that place. But, okay, you can see it a little bit. This chip right here. I don't want to go too up and then it collapses in. I want it, I want to do, you know, like down here or something. Because when I had the small one, I was like doing it from an angle. Because at first it was like kind of up. But then I drove in from an angle. <sighs> Woo, it's hot. So, yeah, let's, let's get to it. Let me pull this around and get the camera again. I'm gonna miss not having no seat. Cause you, I feel like you can honestly feel like having one seat. I don't know, my car felt lighter and faster. Maybe it was the placebo effect, but yeah. Whew. And I also gotta hook up the railing cause this seat belt. <laughs> oh, wait, actually, I could do the same thing and just drill a hole in the side of that and then put a washer on it. Nah, I'm probably gonna be too damn cramped. Probably do it outside the car. We gonna see. Anyways, let, let's do it one step at a time though. So let me pull this around. Turn you a little bit. You come here. Fuck. Hold on. Ah, damn. Hold on. Hold on. I'm tripping. There we go. Damn, bitch. Hold up, lock. Oh shit. Hey, fuck it. Just go in there. God damn. Alright. Moment of goddamn truth. Oh, oh, I'm selling these seats. Cause that mean no matter what I do, I can't get these bitches in. So, do they both line up? Please. Please line up. Cause if my calculations are off, then that's, then I'm fucked. Oh my God, they line up. They fucking line up. Oh, they fucking line up. Oh, you probably can't even see that shit for real. And if you are sitting right there, like why, would, why wouldn't why they line up? I, I don't know because the seat railings are already different. I mean, the one little P-shaped bolt, 
it had another little p-shaped hole so i feel like there's probably a tool out there where you can pop it off and then you know um move that little railing thing over i probably will look at a video i don't know while i'm eating because i mean they line up so that's good but i'm probably gonna look at a video and see what that is about because if that is then i don't really have to grind it out no more but yeah so they lined up man okay This stuff really a workout. Man, I couldn't even go home and get my goddamn cheeseburger. Well, I couldn't even go get my cheeseburger. I had to go home and handle some stuff, man. But, eh, I'm, I, I, hey, that trip home, I'm full enough. I'm hungry now to finish this stuff, man. I don't even feel like eating right now. I got my... Well, I thought I ripped off my nail. All the food I need right here. Is water like I said I'm not gonna record the driver's seat since I pretty much you already you know since I pretty much already got everything that I need like since you since I already showed you everything that happens like there's really no point in recording the drivers the driver's side uh, unless I were like you know run into some uh, problems with it but even then it's gonna be the same So before we switch over to the driver's side, we got a we got a we got a big problem. Oh, next we need to damn this shit. What the fuck? Damn, I ain't got no gap. Ow my ow. Damn this seat all up on this motherfucker. Like there's no there's no space for all that. Okay, now, next problem is seatbelt. Okay, so, as you can tell, damn, I can't drill into the side of it. And this is not no goddamn metal. So, what I'm thinking is, I need to figure out the pack, the uh, air, oh, damn, the airbags. Because when dude put the SI seats from his EP3 seats, he said they ain't line up. So I need to see if that's a different case for me. I don't know. I almost took this whole entire side off like a dummy. Because that was the wrong side anyways. Man, I really hooked up. I really mangled this. That mug curved and dented in. I was kicking. I was Sparta kicking this mug. I'm going to sit here and brainstorm some ideas. Because um, I'm taking this off too. Cause I, like I said, I'm not doing the back seats. That's gonna be too much time wasted uh, when I could be doing other projects. So I'm obviously gonna take this off, right? Both of these off, right? So what I'm trying to think is, what am I gonna do with this? Cause I'm not cutting through this whole goddamn thing. Like this thing is thick metal, bro. Like my grinder will probably blow the hell up. So yeah, I'm trying to see what I'm gonna do to get this. All right, so change of plans actually looks like i might have to do the back railings now because the thing is i'll probably go um cut this and then do what i did for that boat and come in from the bottom and have to drill up so i'm gonna have two boats connected to this one like like this so because i mean this one is pretty thick these ones are mm, they're kind of they're no they're kind of thin i don't know i'm gonna have to see i'm gonna have to uh move up this seat or something real quick to see what are we working with i can definitely access it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have to take off those back railings off that one and this one and then um connect them yeah, I'm gonna have two bolts, one for the seat and one for uh and one for the obviously the bolt to rail in. So I'm for the for the driver's side, I'm not doing that. We on crunch time. I can't do it for the driver's side, but this side I got to if I wanna have the seat belt in there. And so I have to get started on it right now to mark out everything. So 
It's grind time, baby. All right. I can get jiggy with this one now. This one, unlike these, they're hidden. So you gotta like watch out for these barriers and stuff. But these, I can just get, you know, right under that thing. So, I'm gonna put in a new uh, blade or whatever, bro. carried away on that one my fault that's that's my fault right there i forgot this seat i don't care about i'm gonna do the same thing i did with i'm gonna beat this i'm gonna i'm gonna stomp on this mug as soon as i'm done or we could be civilized and get the drill real quick i'll be right back Twenty minutes later. Woo! Alright, so we packed everything up. We back in the car, man. Cause all my equipment died. And like I said, man, I want a cheeseburger. And guess what? Today is National Cheeseburger Day. So McDonald's, they got 50 cent double cheeseburgers going on, man. And my big fat ass is gonna get me one. So if I have I can't wait till I take this seat out. I gotta figure out um my airbag button. I mean button, my airbag light. I might uh I gotta figure out what to do with that. I did rip off a wire. Okay, I'm gonna talk about that tomorrow, but I ripped off a wire out of my OEM seats. I'm kinda mad. Cause what if one day actually no, cause I don't even think SI seats have heated seats, so I hope that's not my heated seat wire. I'm gonna be mad, but Either way, I really don't care because I'm, I'm I can get some electric tape and tape that up. I'm pretty sure because I can't just leave no wire just sitting right there. I'm pretty sure that's dangerous. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this, get this cheeseburger and stuff, and uh, go back home, rest for a little bit, charge my stuff. Ear, but these fries about steady fuck. Like, okay, I want a little that shit about dried in the camel spit. But I gotta save as much money as I can, so we just gotta eat what we can, man. And I heard the noodles. They talking about some noodles causing, causing, causing butt problems, man. I ain't trying to be on no toilet. I do got the bulldog noodles. They did say those really. I didn't say those be tripping too. I'm still eating them. I had that pack for a couple weeks now. They just not talking about it. So my pack should be good. But yeah, you know, you gotta add the fries on the burger. And yeah. I'm, I'm still exhausted. It's like a, two hours later. I just been laying down. Yeah. Two thousand years later. It's currently 908. I ain't been to the crib and laid down since I woke up for work at nine in the morning. I went I worked a nine to five today. K straight to the storage unit after work. Um it's currently nine o'clock. So I've been here for like four hours, some fucking how, putting in these seats. But the front two seats good. I don't know about the back ones. I'm a um I'm a tomorrow after work. Well, I work till like seven, so the sun gonna be coming down. I'm, a, I'm I gotta watch a video on how to take out the back seats again. I forgot, but I'm gonna take out the back seats tomorrow. Um, yeah, and put those in there. Throwing these seats out. I never got to finish the back railings. Um, yeah, man, I don't know. I'm a uh I'm gonna see about all the back railings and shit, bro. I gotta see. But I'm throwing out the back seats, unfortunately, because they don't fit my car. I don't have enough time. Today is Friday, my car leaves Saturday. So I'm throwing out all three of these. I'm keeping the bumper. I'm gonna actually test and see if the bumper even fits on my car, which it should because it's 2009, but like some of the holes and stuff look completely different from my car. I mean, it is not the it's not an OEM bumper, so it that may be it. But yeah, so keeping this, putting it in my trunk, throwing these out, 
and this back seat's out. Cause I gotta move out my storage unit. My oh shit, my payment was due like four to three days ago. I literally said, oh, the day that my payment due, I'm gonna be moving out because I was like, I don't want to pay that. They was like, okay, cool. Like you ain't gonna pay it if you move out the same day. It's been like three fucking days. It's been raining and shit. And I've been trying to do something, but I couldn't do nothing because it's just been raining. So I couldn't even paint my uh, wheels that I wanted to paint black or my goddamn bumper. So, yeah, and my dumb ass, I wasn't really thinking because I waited like, I didn't put in my two weeks until like the exact, like, I put in my two weeks, I think the 14th and I'm leaving the 30th. But my last day is the 28th. I should have put in my two weeks a week before, like the seventh or some shit. So I could have, you know, so I could have been out and had a week of just doing shit. But mm, hey, I don't really care, man. Either or. Um. So yeah, I can't get the back railings off. I'm gonna have to find something to do about that. These back seats wasn't going in because these bitches don't even fit in. And plus, I'm getting SI back seats. That's the only thing I'm uh, like my my Honda is going to be Honda OEM parts like it's going to be it's going to be hella like custom and shit but it's all going to be like Honda shit. So yeah, I got the EP3 front seats and the SI back seats. I'm going to get the SI back seats cuz the suede hella hard. I don't really like leather. I want the suede in my shit. So yeah. It's going it's going to really break my heart to drop these off at a random ass dumpster and not really get to do shit with them cuz I did spend $400 on the front and the back seats but yeah, so I'm um I'm gonna go put this bumper on real quick. I'm gonna put y'all up because it is raining. I don't want nothing to mess up. But yeah, so but yeah, other than that, I don't really got no complaints. I got the front seats in here. That's that's all I really. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't give a fuck about the back seats. When I seen these seats, I wasn't looking at the back seats. I was looking at these front seats. I was like, boy, they have like a like a gaming chair type shit. Like that's hard as fuck. And plus, I, I got a vision with for these seats, so I'm gonna get that vision going. But yeah, it is a little annoying not having no uh, back railings. Uh, so y'all yeah, need to clean out my trunk. Because uh, me me and uh, my dukes going to be putting my totes and stuff, like with my clothes, and taking it down to Arizona. Uh, it gets there the first. I'm getting there the 30th. So yeah, um, all my clothes and stuff going to be in my car. And then I'm going to see if I can squeeze the bumper in with the totes. And I got the uh, ramps. I might leave the ramps at the crib. I don't care. Them ramps was they was at Harbor Freight like fifty dollars, I think. I don't, I'm not really tripping about that. Now, my dudes can keep that. Uh, you know, do an oil change itself or something. But I wanted to see if I could just hold up. Okay. Yep. I'm fucked. I forgot about that shit. Damn. Yep. Hmm. I might just have to, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to have to do. I don't know if I'm going to do any damn thing. This one don't line up either. I think, yeah, this one don't line up either, man. So. I definitely would say I bit off a little bit, like more than I could chew. Because I wasn't thinking about, hold up. Because I wasn't really focused on my seats i mean these seats to my car i was focused on the uh the ep3 to the si si seats on to the ep3 i wasn't really thinking about uh civic seats no ep3 seats to a civic so but my main goal was to get the front uh two in i didn't want to ride on one fucking boat or have my passenger seat with one boat I gotta get that seatbelt thing out that passenger side. I might, I might, I might be able to, you know, uh, screw that, uh, like, you know, take that out and shit. So I might run by the crib, go grab a battery for the uh, angle grinder. But other than that, I think I'm gonna go drop off the driver's seat. No, I'm gonna take a picture of it for the thumbnail. You already know, I, you already know, I gotta get the thumbnail for that shit. But yeah, I'm gonna go grab the battery for the angle grinder and um, I might try and um. I don't know, man. This is so fucked up. <laughs> no, because SI seats fit mine. I can find some. I can probably find some, like, really raggedy, beat up ass SI seats. Or I could go to a junkyard and just angle grind the shit out of those back railings. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to see, but I got the front two in. Solid as hell. I, don't, I mean, it's not going to be like that forever, but yeah. So 
Um, I think I'm going to take out the Rhino ramps, go drop off the driver's seat, go home, get the angle grinder battery, come back, take that off, drop off the passenger seat with that, and put the back seats in here and drop those off too. I'm just glad the SI back seat's going to fit me. So yeah. Um, let me take off this bumper real quick and see if this shit fit. Uh, I'll see y'all whenever I pick up the camera again. Yeah, this shit don't fit. <laughs> this shit definitely don't fit, bro. Yeah, this is completely damn different. And it was the exact same year and everything for my shit, but it don't fit. So, everything going in the trash. Fuck it, I don't care. So, yeah. Trash. Trash, trash. So, I'm gonna go find a dumpster to put this driver's seat in. I think I'm gonna put the, the bumper in there too so I can kill two birds with one stone. I need to hurry up, but yeah. Just because I'm a fucking perfectionist, I like to show off shit. Bumper, seat, seats. And fender liners. Okay, so yeah, I am a dumbass. I did put the bumper upside down, but this shit so goddamn such a tight fit. And honestly, like it's very like bendy and shit. So I gotta like actually I'm not gonna lie. I'm just getting new shit in Phoenix, bro. I don't give a fuck about this shit no more. All this shit going in the trash, bro. Fuck it. I don't care, man. I'm, I'm getting... I gotta get a new grill and everything anyways. Fuck this shit. I'm not doing all this. Alright. So, I was thinking about it, bro. I'm sorry that I dumped perfectly good back seats. I'm gonna take accountability for that shit, bro. Because when I was dumping them, I was like, man, these seats are really good. Like, I'm pretty sure somebody would love to have these seats. But I mean, the seats was posted on Facebook Marketplace for a while. And nobody really picked them up. So, and I only got the time. I know... My bad, but anyways, moving on to some else. It's currently the end of an era, man. Got to take off the banner and stuff, but yep, everything gone. Everything gone, packed up, man. I just got to take off my uh, banner and throw this stuff, all this stuff away. I do got some little metal stuff. <laughs> Straight metal shards in this motherfucker. Straight metal shards in this motherfucker, but yep. Time to pack her up. Thanks for all the memories and shit, but we're moving on to, to, to some different. So, um, yeah. Um, since I moved out, I don't think I'm closing. I think, I think that should be good. So, I'm not gonna leave it locked, but I'm pretty sure I gotta like, you know, have this bitch open a little bit so they know that I'm, you know, moved out. But everything gone. It's empty still. Thank you. Storage unit F3. <laughs> I don't know why I just said my whole storage unit, but I'm not gonna be here and I never will be here again. I don't give a fuck. <laughs>